Today we're going to do a shoulder of lamb. I love shoulder of lamb, but people tell me sometimes it's quite hard to carve once it's cooked. So today we're going to debone it, stuff it, tie it up. This is a wonderful salt marsh lamb, packed full of flavour. I'm going to put a spicy merguez sausage meat in it as well, just to add an extra punch. So now we're going to debone the shoulder. So starting here, we're going to cut down here until we reach the blade bone, which is basically the shoulder bone. And then we'll expose that. And then by cutting either side of the blade bone and going underneath it, we can actually just get to there. And then one little helping trick is to open it up and it pops and then you can almost pretty much pull the bone out. And now we're going to take out the remaining two bones. So these bones, you can take out as one piece if you find it easier. I'm going to take it out as two. We go around here. You can see the bone there. Through that joint. And then through the shank bone. Important to keep all these bones because they make great stocks and gravies. I'm going to separate the bones into two. Take out one. Take out the other. And there we have the boneless shoulder of lamb. I'm going to remove a little bit of fat. I don't like to remove too much fat because I feel that's where the flavor is. And actually, a little bit of fat's good for you, but others may want to take out more. But for me, that's just perfect. That's enough trimming, and now we're ready for stuffing. So by lifting this first flap, here we have about nine sausages. These are our merguez sausage, quite a spicy lamb sausage. Obviously you could use whatever you like. I'm adding a bit of spice into it though. And then by putting the sausage meat into the areas which are visibly lower and emptier, basically where the bones were, we can reform the shoulder. And now we want to make into a nice cylinder shape. So all we will do is push our shoulder into a nice shape ready for tying as even as possible. And there we go, ready for tying. So when tying a joint of meat, the best place to start is in the middle. You also want to tie the thickest parts first. So I would tie the middle and then one at either end and then work outwards. So in one of our other videos, we did a butcher's knot. If you don't know how to do a butcher's knot, you can use a different type of knot or roasting bands, but this is, we're gonna do our butcher's knot. And what we want is a sort of loaf of bread shape. It's also interesting to find out which breed of lamb you're cooking with, because some do have some extraordinary characteristics. One of our lamb farmers is in the Shetland Islands and his lambs 
walk along the shores of the Shetlands eating seaweed and eating the local heather. And you really can taste the difference in the meats. It's an amazing, amazing breed of lamb. One of the oldest, actually, in the UK. And there we have our shoulder of lamb, ready for roasting.